Welcome to Can Hammer, everybody. Today's battle report works. That was a growl. Why don't you do a lot, Chris? That's a wow. <laughs> Welcome back to Can Amber, everybody. Your source for 40K from the Great White North. We're here today in Chris's new hobby room, which the tour you'll have to hang on. Still but it's uh, still in progress. So I'm with Chris today. We're doing another uh, gaming day. We like to have these every once in a while. Uh, take a break from the grind. And uh, we're going to be playing a uh, game between his orcs, new orc army. Well, it's not all new, but. Uh, Codex Orc Army against my current Custodes list. So it's gonna be a competitive ETC format game. And uh, yeah, so how do you think it's gonna go, Chris? Uh, it's tough. I think if I can grind out your bikes faster than you can kill my boys, I win. But if you can kill the boys too fast, I lose, right? Like, you have so many shots, you're, you're kind of a bad match for me in an ETC sense because of the volume of firepower. Like, you have like 200 strength four shots. And I only have like a, a cu like a couple hundred models, so in three turns, <laughs> like in models, three turns yeah. you should be able to kill a lot of my models. It just depends on how much work my models do in the meantime. Yeah. If I can kill you know five six bikes a turn, yeah. then eventually I'm going to be able to you know kind of hold on to enough models to cover the objectives. Yeah. Well, what's interesting is so for example, I run the minus one hit banner in my army. I don't think that's going not useful against you at all. No, it is. I hit on sixes. Yeah. But I always hit on sixes. But you always hit on sixes anyway. But, so, but it's yeah. still like, you know, it's a big difference. Yeah, so we'll see. Um, but that definitely is helpful against knights. Um, and um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. First of all, to get orcs on the channel, uh, to do a nice uh, battle report on uh, on this table and uh, to see how we do. Yeah, it's not uh, the nicest table, but it's the one that we had set up. We can swap it for the next report. Yeah, no, it looks great. So uh, we're going to uh, come back with the armies and we'll get started. All right, here's my current list. Uh, you've seen this uh, quite a number of times already. So I have a Cadian Guard Battalion. Um, you know what I should do? I should make them catechins for this. Why? At least I'm strength four. Okay, go catechins. Yes. Yeah. I don't think the Cadians gives me anything actually. Okay, go. I'll let you change. I'll let you change. I've seen my. They list. are actually catechins though. Okay, uh, catechins battalion, uh, Kirovs and uh, Kirovs and grand strategist is my warlord. And then I have my outrider captain uh, with the orc Aquilus as my extra CP spent. The Vexilla with guardian spear and the banner. They both have misericordias minus one hit banner. Three, seven, seven bikes, all hurricane bolters. And that is it, fairly straightforward. Let's go to the orcs. Okay, so all right. we said that the orcs is a competitive list. I would say that's only about 80% to 70% true. I only have two battalions because, and the, the reason for that is I don't have the HQs to flush them out. So that's why I might look a little bit fishy, but I didn't want a proxy for a video. So over here we have 30 shooter boys, 30 shooter boys, 30 shooter boys. So 90 they shooter boys. evil sons, okay. which means that they have the additional movement and they can advance and shoot assault weapons as if they didn't advance. So okay. I'm, sh I'm hitting on fives and advancing. Gives me a lot of mobility with 90 boys. Um, this is a war boss, the power claw. Okay. Um, no I relic have, claw. Uh, he does have the Relic Claw. Okay. I have so that does a, like four damage, right? Uh, it's still like three, it's just not minus one to hit. Oh, okay. And it's uh, rerolls wounds. I have a, a uh, weird, boy. weird Boy. And then I have a Pain Boy as weird in, boy. in that uh, battalion. Okay. And finishing off that battalion on the end, the guys that are probably getting cut, well, they are getting cut from my list, but for now we have to use them. Is 30, uh, 27 Storm Boys. Okay, I love these models. Oh, the models are, are a pain in the butt to put together. Though. Yeah, and I've been redoing the bases to put them on 32, so some things aren't rebased on 32s, but that's coming. Like all your boys. The boys aren't, but the Ludas are, so it's a good start. And then I have, so that's Evil Sons, all that stuff, and then I have a Bad Moons Battalion, which should be two Bad Moon Battalions, but I just couldn't have the HQ models. They have the three tractor cannon uh, big guns. Okay. I'm using the old zap gun models, which auto hit. The, I think the tractor cannons are just like the new zap gun from yeah. the sounds of things. I have a war boss in that as well, uh, mainly to give fearless to my grots and my ludas, because mm -hmm. the other war boss doesn't give them fearless. I have a uh, weird boy as well. And then I have a unit of 10 ludas, a unit of 15 ludas, and they're bad moons, so they reroll once to hit. 
and then I have 60, uh, sorry, uh, 55, 56, 58 grots here, which are in units of 20, 20, and 18, which probably should be six units of 10 for the second battalion. Um, but that's what I got for now. All right, cool. All right, uh, so obviously- oh, Sorry, this is my warlord. Um, is the second war boss in the Evil Sons. Okay. And the reason for that is I just don't want to, he, he's going to be chilling back with the Ludus, keeping them from running away. What's warlord trait? Um, I get to redeploy D3 units. Oh, okay. And that, that's very important with the Ludas, um, being able to redeploy them to maybe in the back corner and hide if you yeah. screw up. Yeah. So that's the most important trick, I think, in my army. Okay. So it's, it's cunning and brutal was the name of it, or it's brutal and cunning, there's two of them, one of the but it's the one lets you redeploy. Straight from the Night Vault. And, um, uh, so your weird boys probably got what like the, the jump and the uh, yeah so the usual this ones. one the one in the bad moons has the jump and the other one has uh, plus, plus one attack, attack. Yeah, yeah probably the only two powers we're gonna see okay cool so that is the orc army it's a bit scary so many models there uh, so we'll set up our mission and we'll come back okay we're playing etc mission two this is a uh, vanguard strike. So that side and this side, six objectives where by at the start of turn three, you randomly determine two that go away. So by the end of the game, you're only left with two objectives and they're each worth four points at the end of the game. There's no progressive. Six cards to start the game and then it goes down every turn um, and um, kill points. So um, I made a mistake already in my objective placement because I knew in my back of my mind, maybe I hadn't fully decided yet. And so it's a lesson to learn. Make sure you know your game plan before you start doing anything that I was gonna castle up and wait for him to come to me. But for some reason, I put my first objective in the middle, which is just basically giving him that objective. And then I put two not even that close together, whereas Chris put his three pretty close together there. So big mistake for me. We'll see if that's gonna cost me the game. My game plan is eventually to hit, take the hit and then push out. Um, so we'll see if that eventually ends up costing me, uh, if he can hold me back there for long enough, especially with the six cards up front and going down, that might really bite me in the butt. And even if, I, unless I can table him, which I think is unlikely, uh, that I might end up paying for that. So we'll see, we'll see. We'll live by our mistakes and learn from them. Uh, so we're just finishing uh, deployment and then uh, we'll come back and explain why we deployed this way. So my deployment is basically a castle in the far corner. Uh, I'm currently outranged the Ludas, but they can move obviously. Um, and I got a little screen at the front and some dudes over here. As I already said, uh, that was a mistake there. So we'll see, I'll probably pay for that, especially with six cards at the front going down. Basically yep. gave you a free one. <laughs> um, Chris is deployed, you know, boys all up at the front, Storm boys in Deep Strike. Yep, so I, I, my thought process was, the first thing I thought of when we were deploying was, what's the threat range of his bikes, and what do I not want shot turn one? And the answer to that was, I don't want my big guns, I don't want my Ludas, I don't want my Grots shot turn one. People might say like, why don't you want your Grots shot? It's because the Grots, turn two, three, four, five, six, need to be alive to keep the Ludas alive. Boys, really in my list, are just there to distract engage, do some damage, they're not the crux. So I measure from his bike unit, so I put down my three boys, I was like, I'm gonna obviously do that in a row, and the Storm Boys, four drops, and then the threat range of his bolters is uh, 38, you said? Yeah, With like moving 14 and 24. So I measured 38, it's like to there. So when he said that, when you deployed back, I basically put my Ludas as far forward as I could. If Darren would have deployed on the line, my Ludas would have been back here, so they wouldn't have been shot. So. Just, you know, they're, they're kind of as far up as I could put them, but that's only because I'm safe to do so. Because turn one, you never want to get shot. And so we've both deployed so that we want the other person to go first. Darren's gone in a corner hoping that I go first to waste my Ludus turn one. And then I deployed out of his threat range so that I want him to go first. Yeah. Uh, my characters are all interspersed in the middle, kind of covering everything is basically fearless. Um, yeah, the other thing I'm assuming is that the boys are gonna come at me kind of what boys normally do and it's probably in Chris's benefit to at least come up to this objective here um, oh so, yeah I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna be covering the know, board he's gonna be trying to cover as much board as possible I'm gonna get trapped in the corner hopefully for maybe just a couple turns but that may be just enough if Chris has four objectives and six cards at the beginning to win the game for him right there unless he gets tabled which is unlikely so um, it's not unlikely, actually. So we'll see how that pans out. It may be in a fatal mistake right from the beginning. Uh, as I said, in the uh, mission, it's important to determine 
what you're going to do before you even start placing objectives. Yeah, so um, we, should we talk about that? So Darren placed an objective in the middle, yeah. and he is correct. If you are playing a, a mission where you know who gets to pick um, deployment, then you should generally lead with an objective in the middle because you're not getting to pick where the deployment goes. Um, sometimes, it depends on the mission, depends on the army. Whereas in ETC, because we roll, a common thing is Which that is you would change. put three in each corner. Yeah. It's a change from the rule book. You put three in each corner, and that way it's very safe. So that Darren could, because now he's sitting in a corner on one objective. And I won the, the table corner roll. If he would have won it, he would be sitting back here as well. So yeah. um, I am at an advantage. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, well, let's do the roll then. I got plus one. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna give Chris first turn. Damn you. <laughs> All right, good game, Chris. Good luck. We'll come back, first turn. Works turn one movement, Chris is just finishing. Um, his objectives, he pulled overwhelming firepower, which is kill something in the shooting phase. Secure four, which is his back objective. Defend four, so that's gonna be good. Secure five, which is that objective on my side. Supremacy, which is hold three objectives. And area denial as his priority orders. Um, so yeah, so that's another weird one. Like your warlord has to achieve this, but not really. Like your, your army just achieves it. Yeah, there's a couple weird ones. In yeah, there. I hate this uh, card. Part of the orders it fucks up the fucks up the cards. Okay, and uh, again with etc, d threes are two points automatically, so you don't roll, and you can only score three per turn. Except there's one mission where you can score more, but it's not this one. Okay, yeah. Chris. So what was your strategy going into your first turn here? Oh, I advanced. All three boy units rolled once to advance. So I just moved my army up very slow, which wasn't enough. I wanted to get on that center objective. Well, you didn't even get anyone on that. I don't need it, though. I don't yeah, have to. You don't need it. So Secure yeah. one. So. Yeah. Okay, so everything just kind of pushed up. But not as far as I would have liked. But yeah, because yeah, um, they're still fast. It's just like I'm only moving like eight inches. Yeah. Okay. Five, six, sorry, seven inches. boys only move five, right? They move five. I, I thought, oh, And then I get plus six. one for the evil sun, so I move six. Mm -hmm. And then I advance two. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, so that's the end of moving phase. Everything just kind of pushed up. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to spend my CP to combine these clowns. Okay, so you're combining the two Ludas right. into a single unit. So let me see if I get a CP for that. Nope. So let me double check the phase it's in. Because you're right on the top. End of movement. Yeah, end of movement. So there it is. It's one or two. It's one, right? I think it's just one. Yeah, it's one. Okay. Um, okay, psychics. Psychic phase, okay. Um, so I have nothing to smite, nothing to give plus one attack to. I'm actually gonna cast the jump on the front, ooh, on the third unit of Shooter Boys. Okay, so it's three units lined up in a row. So I gotta debate that. So I wanna cast the jump. I wanna jump in, I wanna get first blood. Um, But if you move forward, you, that's the problem. So if you, if Darren moves forward to shoot my front unit of boys, I'm gonna loot a him. So if I jump, I'm getting first blood, but I'm throwing away a unit of boys that probably won't get shot. And I can score three cards, so I'm actually not gonna do anything in my psychic phase, yeah. just because I'm just gonna score three you're and hopefully done. not lose any units. Yeah, you're basically done, right? Um, so yeah, so shooting phase, I have nothing in range, so I can't get overwhelming. What tractor uh, cannons? Firepower, uh, 48, no. Oh no. Well, you can shoot guards, then, I guess. Can't you reach this front unit of guards? Oh no, you can't even reach the front unit of guards, okay. Um, so I can secure objective four. Okay. I can, um, defend. So does defend count towards your three limit? Because you score at the end of my no, turn. No, I do it in your turn. Okay. So I actually can't score three. I, and I score supremacy. Um, and area denial. Well, you can't score at turn one. Oh, it says that? Oh. Okay, and then that, that disappears at the end of your turn, doesn't it? Doesn't the priority order say it disappears if you don't score? Oh, uh, no, it doesn't say that turn one. Which one's turn one? You can't do turn one. Oh, it's the deployment zone one. You can't do turn one. Oh, okay. So I can do area denial. Because score one victory point if there are no enemy walls in the 16th center battle at the end of your turn. If there are no enemy walls in 12 inches at the end of your turn score. So I'm actually going to... And you get the bonus from the priority orders. Yeah, so I three. that was a five, six, seven so far. Okay, so that's a big big first turn for uh, just moving. 
And uh, so it's 7-0 already, so that's a big hole for me already. Yeah, I'll have to look into whether or not that should be fixed for ETC. I think um, it does. I think that I've used it like that before, and then I've heard other people don't, but... We'll I think see. that card should just be removed, is my honest opinion, the priority orders card. Okay, yes. Yeah, there's so ahead. many ways that it makes you change the way the cards play. Yeah. Like, like that one, that, you know, like the one where your warlord has to um, kill... Um, what was the one we encountered on Saturday? Priority orders was for your warlord to advance, but that one says your whole army has to be out of your zone. So now is it your whole army still, or is it just the warlord? You know, like it changes the card, right? So yeah. I think that is a problem. It's a, card. it's definitely a problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's the end of turn seven. Oh, for orcs at the end of turn one. Coming back, custodies. Okay, so custodies turn one. I actually got a really good pull. Uh, I pulled secure protective one, which is the middle one. I swapped out Psychological Warfare for a CP, which I got back for uh, Secure Objective 1, which is the middle one. Then I got two Secure Objectives 3s, which is this one, and Priority Orders to Defend 3, which is that one. So I uh, end up that we're going to be tied, which is great. Um, so I played KG as well. Everybody's out of boys' charge range unless they jump where the Storm Boys come in, and everything else just pushed out with my uh, the Custodes strategy of interdigitating units so that they can stoop through the unit in front um so um that's probably a little bit too far and so that's what i've done and that's about it that's the end of my turn so i score secure three and i score defend four yeah defend four i score secure secure three and i will drop one of these ones and uh, so I score one, two. But if you had had all three objectives, you would have just scored the harder ones to score. Yeah, yeah. I would have scored, get the two secure like you ones out of the way. Yeah, you could have kept, well, it depends where the one was, but if it's on a flank that maybe you didn't want to defend, you could, like you should always score the ones that are, like always score, but if there's ones that are harder to get, yeah. like you score yeah. them now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's, uh, so you just scored two? A lot, yeah. No, you just scored five. So, well, first turn I did, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. ten maelstrom so far. So you're on ten and I'm on two. Uh, so going into turn two, four orcs. Okay, orcs turn two. Uh, Chris pulled Scour of the Skies, which is still something to fly, which definitely do. Massive warp. He still has uh, overwhelming firepower. Secure six, which is here, so he's going to get that. And secure two, which is there. So another uh, decent scoring turn probably for orcs. So Chris, uh, I guess your strategy in this turn was just to move up, <laughs> which you have done. Everybody's advanced, and uh, uh, the character blob is in there. The loot is never advanced. The loot is in the pit, yeah. Okay, um, so is that the end of your movement phase? It's the end of my movement phase, yeah. Okay. I'm drop. Well, I didn't really change my mind. I um, finished my movement phase. I dropped in the uh, storm boys, straight up in the grill, right here, just to apply some forward pressure to get right. maximum targets. There we go. Okay. So now we go on to psychic phase. Yep. Um, I'm gonna give plus one attack to my storm boys. I did string them back here, so they do get feel no pain and all that good jazz. Um, but I'm basically going to try. I get plus three to cast this. Um, plus one attack on the storm boys. Goes off. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I'm good. I don't perils. Um, do I want to jump anything? I don't think so because I kind of don't. I kind of want to maintain my line. Like you could drop your bikes in back there, but I'm okay with that. Um, I think I just want to maintain my line at this point. Um, so. Do you need a target to cast Smite? Yeah. You do, right? Well, the closest, right? But do I need one, or can I just cast it? If well, there's you no have to be to. within range to cast it on something. I can't remember if that's true or not, but so we won't, we'll do it that way. That's the less gamey way. I don't think anyone has asked me that before. <laughs> I've, had this, I've had this debate before, and I can't remember. Okay. I so think we're going to say no I think that'd be for now. To just uh, comment cast. below and let me know. Um, so I will get one Master of the Warp unless I want to save that. Uh, so I guess we go on to shooting phase. Okay. So my Ludas, they're all within range of the front unit of bikes. Yep. So I, I did move. So I'm gonna have to, so my intention for this phase is I'm gonna use the two CP stratagem for them to um, always hit on a five up. 
So that's Daka Daka. Um, I am going to shoot them twice, which will be at the end of the phase. And um, I think that's it. So how many shots do I get with the Ludas? We'll open up with them on the bikes. I will use a CP reroll. You okay? Do I get a CP for that? Nope. So one okay. shot each. Oh man. It's not ideal. <laughs> and that's for the whole phase, including the double shot, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I get 25 shots. So okay. I get to find my dice bag. That's exactly what you don't want to happen with your Ludas. With if you save your CP to re-roll that dice, basically. And so a bit unlucky for Chris there, he rolled the one twice. But that's what happens because everybody hates D3. Well, so the reason that I, um, this scenario, after turn three, all of our CP double. Yeah. And so that's why, normally I wouldn't probably, well, I'll declare shoot twice at the end, but normally I wouldn't shoot twice now that I rolled the one. It's do it later in the game. But I have to because I can't use my CP after turn three. I'll run out too fast because this army's hungry. Okay, so I hit on fives. Yeah, so minus one to hit has no effect here because of the DACA. Oh, did you use the DACA DACA strategy? Yes. Okay, so do I get a CP? No. So I hit with three, six, eight. So I get eight additional shots. Oh, I get to reroll ones. So you hit eight times or you have to roll eight more? I, I, I have to roll the hit eight okay. more times. All right, one more. Okay, not bad. We might get off light with that. So threes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight saves at minus one. Okay. Three ups. Fill two. So four wounds. Two damage each. Oh, yep. So that's one bike dead. Uh, we're going to take this bike right in. Okay. Okay, um, and then so I'm gonna go on to shooting. Uh, this unit of boys here, 18 inches. Uh, one, two, three shots into that boy unit. Uh, well, two wounds of strength four. One dead. Yeah. This, this unit here, you said. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll get three guys in the other unit. Okay. Three wounds. Two guys in the dead. That's in the middle unit. Middle unit, okay. Um, I'm not gonna shoot their pistols because I'm gonna bank on that charge. I'm gonna shoot the Lucas twice. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot the Lucas a second time at that bike unit. It's one bike dying just isn't it? There we go. So I get to reroll ones. Whoa, oh, that was a lot of ones, which is awesome. That's why they're bad moons, baby. So I hit on fives. That was pretty wicked. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. So I get twelve additional shots. I can see how this would totally wreck literally anything. Well. Yeah, because if I would have tripled my number of shots, that could be a yeah. lot of dead bikers. Yeah. Uh, Reroll. That's ones. a good roll, too, for wounds. Mind if I roll your dice? You're rolling for me? Yeah. I have to wound. Oh, oh, oh. That, that was my second oh, that seven. was your second Because on a five up, I get additional shots. Actually, it might end up being less than. No, still a lot. Okay, here we go. Three ups. Emperor protects. Four. Two dead bikes. I'm okay with that. Well, I don't have a choice, but. So, that's the front unit. Yeah. Okay, three bikes dead. Oh, two that was another CP to shoot again, right? Uh, two CP. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. CP, that's my CP for the round. Okay. Anything else incoming? Charge phase. Okay. So I get plus one of my charge because they're evil sons, so I need to roll an eight. <sighs> Do I reroll that three? Yes. Who were you declaring, by the way? Just the guardsmen? Oh, all three units of guardsmen. Okay. So you get your overwatch. Yeah, yeah. You're using an SCP? I don't. Yeah, all right. 
Okay, I'll do my Overwatch. Okay, so uh, they failed their charge and I killed three guys in Overwatch. Yep. Um, and then, so we didn't say how much the CPs yeah. costed. So but Chris has spent the grand total of? A lot. So it was two <laughs> to shoot again, and it was two to do the DACA. So four. Okay, and then, and then five for the load. Five for... So I spent, I, I still have some left, um, but I, I spent a lot and of CP. You, and the re-roll on that charge. Uh, so yeah, I spent a lot of CP. Okay, uh, is that it? Yeah, sadly so, that's uh, it. Morale, so uh, that unit lost one guy, so they can't fail. Uh, this unit lost three guys, so they're good. And uh, so what's your score, Chris? Secure objective six, okay. secure objective two. Okay. Master of the warp. Okay, so that's another three. Yeah. Chapter 13, and then I score a five for defend objective three priority orders. So I'm up to seven, so it's 13 to seven. Uh, at the end of turn two for orcs, coming on to custodians turn two. Uh, so my draw this turn was not good. Advance, which I can't really do. Uh, Kingslayer, which I can't really do. Well, where is your your dude? Here. My general? He's oh, right there. He's back there, yes. It's plastic. Uh, overwhelming firepower, which hopefully I can do, although these are big units. Uh, secure objective six, which I can't do, and secure objective one, which I also can't do. So Did you um, cycle with your CP? Yeah, I did already, and I got secure objective six with that. I spent my uh, custody CP and, and got an objective. Did you discard one at the end of your last turn? I did, yeah. Okay, so, so you gotta keep that cycle going. Yeah, so just a bad draw. Um, so anyway, that's what happens with cards. Uh, so I moved all my bikes up now with the intention of shooting boys and wrapping storm boys. I might shoot the storm boys one or two times to create some holes. They fly, you can't wrap them. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's why they're there. Yeah, okay. You can still kill two units. I'm sure you could shoot, kill 30 boys, and the front unit of boys is not within uh, um, feel no pain range. So you could probably shoot and kill the front unit of boys, charge and kill the storm boys, which is like 60 models gone. Yeah, but then I'm gonna eat Luda's next turn. Hmm. Okay, I uh, forgot their fly. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then I dropped in my unit back there just to do some harassing. And that's it, my guardsmen kind of mostly stood still, and my commander's moved up. Okay, so I uh, have no psychic powers, so the shooting phase, I'm going to give orders to uh, first rank, second rank fire this unit here, and um, this front unit here. And uh, we're going to do some shooting. So there's a lot of dice, so I'm not going to film the shooting, we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so end of my shooting phase, um, you know, Tufted's 4 makes Hurricane Bolt as much less, uh, there's 9 left of the second 11. unit. There's 11 guys 11 left. left, second unit, first unit is gone. Uh, some storm boys died to las gunfire, and I killed two, lud uh, two, two ludas, ludas and six and grots. Six grots from those dudes over there. Because I did the grot shield, and those grots yeah. are the closest. So I realized that I can't wrap these guys because they're fly, so I might as well kill boys, and then I'm going to try and kill these storm boys in combat, which I probably will do. Um, so we'll go on to the charge phase. That's a lot of dudes though, like you're almost killing 90 dudes in a turn mm -hmm. with your custodian. So uh, those four bikes are going to charge your storm boys. Okay. I guess you can overwatch me. Yeah. Ooh, four hits. One wound. Takes a wound. You know, I might as well spend a CP. Is it worth it? No, because of loser damage too. You know what? Loser damage too, so you don't, because you're four wounds, you don't need an odd number of wounds. That's probably true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Okay, so this guy takes a wound in Overwatch, and they will go six. So I can't fly over you anyway, so just pile. Deal six here. Okay, second unit's going in Storm Boys. Eight. Okay, so that unit made it in, the captain made it in, and then, uh, so these three guys are gonna charge uh, this boy's unit here. Well, just roll your charge. Actually, no, I should charge the uh, grots. I'm gonna charge grots. Do they have shooting grots? They, don't shoot they do, yeah. They do? Okay. Well, I get five shots. Nothing. Six in charge. Uh, I'm gonna spend a CP to re-roll that. Ten. Okay, they made it. Okay, uh, so combat phase, uh, I'm going to do this four man unit first. Okay. So that's uh, 16 attacks. Okay, so uh, 
These storm rolls are all dead. Everyone kind of moved up with their consolidates, and we're gonna do these three guys now on the grots. So I'm gonna pile in. This boy here. You're gonna be able to wrap them. Might be able to. Without nudging. Okay. So uh, two guys can attack the bro grots. I don't think I can kill the whole grot yet anyway. Well, I'm gonna leave the one grot that's straight yeah. next to you. <laughs> so you're not gonna make a pile of cuts all anyway. Yeah. I was just, I'll, I'd rather talk it out before you try to do something then. Because you can argue it now. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm there, you can't, he's not wrapped right now. Yeah, how many grots do you have left? 20. 20. So I can't. Well, it's not quite 20, but you're going to kill like eight of them. I'm going to leave this guy here. He's going to pile it into your bike. Yeah. Or like you can't, can't you can't go anyway. Yeah. So then you can't wrap. Yeah. You were close, but. It's okay, it changes nothing. You want to wait to see? Well, if I had charged in here and just left the boys, then you would leave. I still would have the grots. Yeah, touching. you leave the grots at the end. No, no, I leave the grots here and then I pile into you and I mark you so you can't wrap me. Yeah. It's all about, as long, I, just, I just want to be able to shoot two bike units. Now, even if you do wrap, it's like fine because I have two targets now, but yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, I just wanted, like, for the, the viewers, wanted to discuss wrapping, right? Yeah. So it's hard to wrap because... Um, Your bases are huge, have, too. I have huge bases, but you have so many models. It's because I have two units. If I if these grots weren't here, you'd be able to wrap that I'd boy. I'd be able to wrap easily. No problem. But then you would have had to have declared on him, and you would have killed that boy, no problem. Yeah, I'd have a problem. Like, one guy would have to attack, and you would take it. I would kill that boy. Um, or two or three, and then I'd take the three closest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, anyway, so just brought this to number six. And uh, I still failed three wounds. <laughs> so that's uh, six dead grots. Six? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he fell over. Okay, so uh, Chris can fight back. Uh, yeah, so my boys will pile in, I guess. My grots will pile in to touch him. So I'll do the two grots on him. Nope. Eight boy attacks. Uh, three, four saves. Good. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. So uh, I don't score anything. Uh, leadership on the grots, they'll auto fail. They'll lose three more grots. Okay. So I don't lose anything because uh, these guys uh, take morale from the 30 man behind them. And uh, that's about it. I don't score. I didn't kill three units in shooting, Kingslayer or Advance. So I'm going to toss one of these. Uh, probably going to toss. Secure one, secure six. I'm going to toss secure six. Okay, and so I don't score anything in this turn, uh, and that's it. So it's 13 to 7 still, going to turn 3. Okay, turn 3 for Oryx. Psychological Warfare, Scar Disguise still has, Firepower still has, and Domination hold every objective. Uh, okay, so Chris, what are you doing in your movement phase? You pulled these guys out? I've just pulled out, and that's I'm essentially it. turtling. Okay. Oh, I forgot to move my grot unit. I just wanted to do this. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we'll do psychic phase. How yep. many CP you got left? Five. Five. Right. So, yeah, I'm gonna go full ham. Uh, he's gonna smite them. Who's closer? This big unit might be closer. The seven man unit? Yeah, I got a guy right here. Sure. Okay. So, so. Goes off an 11. Okay. I can't really, well I could stop it, but. Four mortal wounds. Okay, I got my Emperor protection save. Save two. 
Uh, the other guy will do the same thing. 12, so he perils, he takes two wounds. How many do I do? One. I'll use my last CPU that I don't need for strats. To reroll that to three. What's up? Made one, so it takes on the two. So the spike's dead. Sure. Um, and for your stratagem, five. And I get CP. Okay, so then the shooting phase. My three. Tractor cannons are going to shoot the three man bike unit. Okay. Um, they auto hit. Uh, sorry, I haven't shot them yet. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm doing it right so the internet doesn't scream at me. You know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. And I need to learn. Okay, so auto hit, strength eight. Two wounds. Okay. Minus? Minus two. Four. Ah, for them both. Uh, okay, and so you fly, right? Yep. So the first guy takes four wounds. Four wounds. Second guy takes five. Two by Oh, uh, that's this unit. Oh. Okay, so you guys did. Sounds good to me. Anyway, um, next I guess we'll do the Luda. See how many shots they get? One? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't think you have enough to do all the strategy if you spend one now. Right? How much did I cost you last time? Yeah. yeah, I gotta do it. I should have kept that one. One die. Oh wow, so I'm gonna use all my stratagems on them. I'm gonna do, uh, it's actually 23 shots now. On. Which unit? Um, I'm gonna do the uh, seven man. Six man now, okay. Six man. Uh, So I got three, six, nine, 12, 13 shots. And then I get to shoot again. 14, 15, 16. That's shooting twice? So on a six, normally orcs always get another shot. And then when you do dac dac, it's on a five plus, they get another shot. So this is still round one. Okay, so you owe me three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Six failed. So that's three dead bikes. Okay, go again. Well, that's the end of phase. Yeah. So pay your three oh, casualties. But you get to use your strats. Strats at the end of the phase. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, those three guys. So there's there. three more in there? Yep. So I'm just one. Oh, they've, they've fled. But I should get 11 guys. So I'll shoot 11 guys, there's 22 shots and get into those guys. 11 guys from where? Sorry, what's shooting? The front unit here. Oh, okay. The, the boy unit that was left. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'll shoot the solo guy. Seven, so 14. Additional shot. It misses. One wound. It's good. Okay. Lunas will shoot again into the. Do I need to kill that one guy? Into the. Three and four. Yeah, it's three and four. Into the four man unit. Okay. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Man, those Ludas. See, I've been rolling ones and twos and I still feel good, so that's... Yeah. It hurts. Hurts like Tau. 
Never thought I would see orcs killing me in the shooting phase. Well, orcs have always been shot. So, three, four, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11 hits. For who were you shooting again? Nine wounds, the four man. The four man? Nine? Two. Alright, so he eats both because he had three wounds left. Yeah. Okay. Whew! It's hardcore. <laughs> Seven bikes left in total. Will that be enough? No, nope, I'm in trouble. Okay. Okay, so... No <laughs> charges, I guess, so... Man, I really screwed this so up. You didn't scour this guy. You should have shot know. this guy. I should have shot that guy and just killed him. Yeah, you didn't psychological. I don't have to take more else. You don't have to take any? Nope, so you should nine. Oh, well, fire fire didn't do. Ooh, I and domination up. didn't do. So we'll get rid of domination. Okay, so it's still 13 to seven. Going into bottom turn two. Okay, turn three for custodies. I didn't pull anything new because I already had four. Uh, so what I did was my intention is to show my intention uh, to shoot Ludus and charge and wrap boys or Gretchen's or whatever happens. That's basically my intention. Everything's pushed up. I have very easy one inch away movements basically. So I should be able to do what I need to do to survive. Although without the Ludus, I probably don't need to wrap. Well, tractor cannons. Uh, that war boss is doing like four damage, so I got to just keep that in mind. But I think I have enough bikes to survive a war boss now. So, um, and this is the last turn before objectives start to disappear. And, and we double, uh, CP. double CPs. That's so, why I had to use all my CP. Yeah. Okay. So uh, no second phase. So I'm going to go on shooting. So this guy's going to shoot Ludas. Jerk! It's going to hurt. Poor Ludas. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Four. Eight. 12 shots. Here we go. Oh man, I'm gonna lose all my Ludas. No ones. Four. Oh. How many? Uh, five. Okay, I so guess. The oh, oh no, you don't have stratagem, yeah. What oh, do you mean? Shit. What do you yeah, mean? You don't have CP for scratch shield. No, that's why I said. I just realized that. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized that. Okay, so. That's why I said you just shoot them. Dead. Uh, okay, so. Okay, I uh, basically shot everything into the Ludas and there's four left. Um, and so then you wanna do a leadership? I just killed two uh, two boys with the last guns in that third boys unit. He's gonna beat them down. I lose one more Luda and I, I stay. Okay, well you're out of sequence, but okay. <laughs> well I wanna do it now, well, so before we forget. Okay. Oh, it's uh, combat phase, yeah, that's right. Yeah, like yeah, I haven't yeah. even done a combat yet. But Never mind, I was sure. like, you can't touch him, it's okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna declare charges, uh, so this dude will declare a charge on the... Grotz? Grotz. <laughs> like, what else can you charge? Nothing. Nothing? Right. You're talking five, right? Yeah. Same six. with two ones and two ones. Oh, six. six. No, no. I thought you were six, yeah. Four. I'll do it. I'll come back towards the middle there. Okay, uh, this three-man unit will charge... Um, Out of the way. This four, a three man unit will charge the Grotz. Uh, and these boys. Okay. Which unit Grotz? Oh, sorry. Oh, this is the second unit here? Yep. Okay, they'll charge this uh, front unit of Grotz here and, okay. and this back unit of boys. Okay. Uh, any overwatch? Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nothing. Ten. Okay, so uh, this guy made contact over here. These three guys made contact with the back unit of the boys. This front unit with the back unit of the boys, and the captain with the back unit of the boys. And that's it. So, uh, I'm going to pile in uh, this three man unit first. Okay. Now I'm going to. I gotta level these tables out. That little uh, bump in the middle doesn't isn't really good. Go there. Go there. Okay. So. Uh, um, so those two guys. Two guys on the three man unit there. 
Oh yeah, and they're all within two of them, right? Yep. Okay. So it's into the big unit in the back. You can't hurt the front unit because you didn't declare it. I didn't declare it. Which is weird. You'll have to explain that to me later. Because I, I thought you could just went in and wipe them all. No, I want to. I don't want to get shot by tractor cannons. Oh, I understand. Okay. Like I'm gonna eat a war boss charge next turn, regardless of what happens. So I just don't want to get shot by tractor cannons. Uh, here we go. Uh, Twelve attacks. No ones. Wounding on threes. Reroll. I see I have no saves, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dead works. Oh, I guess you're okay. Alright. Oh, they're D3 each then. Okay, how many sixes did I roll? None, so it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> if I roll a six, you roll a D3. Sure, sure. Okay. So how many is that? Nine? That's ten. Ten. Which unit has not fought yet? These guys. And they've only declared the charge on. Yep. Characters too, though, right? They declared charge on the characters. No, you're on four anyway. They did not. No. Yeah. So I probably should have done a different order. Yeah. So I totally should have done this unit first. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I still get to move my three. So what I'll do is I'll move this bike unit next. I'm gonna touch the grots. Touch the grots there. This is that little Sidle in. I just need to kill something with tractor cannons. Yeah, this thing is coming out. You know, so I, I didn't say this earlier. The tractor cannons are three separate units. When they split up when you deploy yep. them. Okay, and so. then there's this dude over here. Four hits. That was three, right, Grunts? Oh, yeah. Oh, still fell two. So two dig rats. Just, yeah, they don't get their feel no pain. They're a different group. Take those two. Come on in. I don't have to, right? You have to go towards the closest unit. I don't have to consolidate, though. Oh, or not move, yes. So you either go into him or you don't move. Yeah. I guess there's not much. I'm not to. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna. It just means that I'm not shooting you with grot yeah, yeah, yeah. pistols, right? Okay, yeah. fight me back. Uh, two grots. Nothing. Um, over here. So they're gonna pile in. Oh, so that's one unit I'll do first. Uh, power Claw. I believe it's three attacks. It might only be two. I'll double check that because I don't want to be caught on something changing. Oh, I don't have gas gold, so I, I will have less attacks than I'm used to. Because goths are not the, sh the thing I wanted. Yep, three. I was right. Okay, so I hit you on fours. Three hits. That was what I needed. <laughs> So strength is times two. Yep, three. So two wounds. One fail. Uh, it's D3, right? Yep. Two. Okay. And, and then one, one, two, three, four, five boys, which is 10 attacks. Okay. This would be threes and fives. One, two, three. Hold I'll one take more. It. I'll take it. All right, down to one on that biker. Okay, anybody else? Yep, the next unit will pile in. It'll just be my knob and one guy. I didn't charge, they weren't in combat though. That's this big unit that you killed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. That's the same unit, yeah. Cool. How many guys left? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you're right, they're, they're disengaged. They're disengaged. I would have had to have one model left in the niche. Yeah. So yeah. my mistake. Okay, cool. So um, any morales need taking? Grots only. Grots. Good. Um, that unit lost 10. So the question is, so. Yeah, now you have to figure out the mob rules. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you have the war boss here, right? There's 18 left. So 18 minus 10 would mean I have leadership eight. So I'm actually just gonna take a leadership and I'm gonna pass it. Okay, okay. So uh, at the end of my turn, I don't think I score. And did I just kill three units in shooting? I don't think so. No, because no, I shot losers, I didn't kill it. And I was secure. So I score nothing. So it's at the end of three turns, it's still 13 to seven. 
Um, going on to top of turn four. Do you want to do the uh, D3? Yeah, sure. Who does that? You do it or I do it? You do it. So right? I'm going next, so I go first. I'm going to pick these three objectives here. Okay. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this one right now is no longer counted towards the end of the game score. You want to split it over? Oh, then we can't see the two. Uh, it's fine. We, it's, okay. we know this one, and then you can do your three. Uh, during my turn, though, right? Sure. Or, yeah, if you don't want to do it now. Well, just in case you land on something. It's just end of game oh, score. Oh, yeah, okay. So it, it really... Yeah, yeah. No, it makes sense. I'll just do it now. Oh, sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right, this one. I'll put a CP dice on it. So two and five are no longer for end of game. Okay. They're cool. still there for Maelstrom scoring. So the unit that was disengaged just moved in and clumped in right here. Okay. I moved my war boss right there, my pain boy right there, my two shamans to hit this three man unit, yeah. and I retreated all my grots. Okay. Um, and uh, you have the same objectives because it's only three this turn. So yeah, and I should have scored them last turn because I'm a moron, so we'll do this. Guys and psychological warfare. Okay. So psychic phase. I think smite is going to be better than adding attacks to my war boss. So I'm going to do a smite. On the wounded one? With, no, the non wounded one. Non wounded one. Five okay. goes off. Oh, what's it go off on? What's the total? A five. Okay, you don't add plus what's whatever. Within? Because I have a deny strategy. Yeah, so I'll go up by one. So, so it goes off six. on six. Okay, I'll try and deny that with. Um, Whatever is called Spark of Divinity. So okay. that's two CP, I guess, right? Yep. So uh, do I get that back? I get one back. Okay, and then let's deny. Denied. Okay, the other guy will do it, the wounded guy, because why not? I only get plus one, so I need to roll six, so it goes off on a seven. So you're going to take three. On that three man unit there? Yeah. Okay. Because there's already a guy wounded on there. Right? Uh, was there? No, nope. that was this unit. Ah, too bad. Emperor does not protect me. I might get so the kid's getting off it. Okay, so shooting phase. I'm gonna start with the easy thing. The furthest away tractor can into this one guy here. Okay. Do I wound? No. Second one? No. Third one? No. Did you just roll three ones? I rolled a one, one, two. Oh. <laughs> nice. The looters will shoot him. Two shots. Two hits, but two additional shots. Three hits, one wound. One wound? So one well, wound. I might be screwed. <laughs> and he saves it. Because now I can't score either of those. Oh, shoot. That's unfortunate. Um, the shooter boys here. 17. Those are the guys that are left from the last unit, yeah. right? Should be 38 shots. I'll go into the one with the one guy, the one guy's wound left. I'm gonna use the so dice back unit here. Yeah, the one because if one wound and I kill a guy, sure. right? All right, so that's four uh, four slugger shots into that unit. Shoot us and they shoot us. And I saved them all. All right. Too bad. Too bad. Charge phase. This is gonna be a tricky one. So the big unit of boys, they're just gonna go into this unit of three bikes here. Okay. They go in. Yeah, they're already engaged. Yep. My war boss, who is there, will go into the other unit of bikes. That's my captain there, just so you know. Yeah, I know. He's gonna go into the other unit of bikes. He's in. Pain boy will go in too. Three should be enough. Oh yeah. He's gonna go there. Okay. Anything else? No, I can't do anything else, basically. Okay, so I'll interview with the captain. Okay. Okay, go. So war boss, I'm activating first. Okay. He's got that special claw. So I have to look up what he does. I reroll wounds. Um, uh, so his strength is 12. So he he's gonna wound you on twos. Uh, four attacks, hitting on twos. The special claw just makes him not minus one, right? Yeah. Minus one to hit. 
So two invulnerables on that unit. Failed them both. Okay, so two. Th so what? The one guy, one guy dies, dies, and one guy takes three wounds. Three wounds. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it'll cost me four to interrupt you right now, right? Yep. Um, what's the pain boy do? He's got power claw. He has a power claw, right? I still have seven CP. Uh, okay, I'm gonna interrupt you for four CP with the um, the captain on the pain boy. Here we go. One, two, three rolling ones. Uh, toughness four. Yep. Freeze. Four saves, minus three. What's the damage? D3 each. Okay, he takes three wounds. Well, sorry, that was whatever. Just roll a d3 for each one. Sorry, it's four. It's that's my. I get my feel no pain. Yeah. So that's three. So three, roll a fourth die. That's seven. Oh. Ah, whatever. He's dead. Okay. It doesn't matter. We. I had to do him one time. We did it wrong. It's okay. He's so dead. So eight. Eight. I just rolled all my d3. Eight. I would have done eight feel no pains. Yeah. Yeah. So Did I don't want eight feel no pains. He's dead. Okay. Okay, so now I get my boys that charged in. Yep. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys. These guys will just bump up for speed. Uh, that was a bit far. So nine guys times two, 18 attacks from regular boys. Don't forget, it, they would be on 32. Yeah, that's why I could do that. I'm only fighting in two ranks. Okay. No rerolls, eh? Strength four. So fives. One, two, four saves. Just fail the one, lose the guy. This is on uh, this unit here, right? Yeah. Good. Nope. And then the claw. One hit. One wound. He's dead. It's too bad I couldn't kill that one guy. Okay, and then the other orc unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen attacks. to kill. Oh, it would be nice if this would have worked out that way. One, two, three, four, five saves. Ooh. Fill four. He what, fades, right? Three up? Yeah. Uh, no, four in bone. This is a boy. Oh, that was just boys? Oh, I just fill one. Yeah. Okay. okay, sorry. I thought it was the power claw. No, I don't have that many attacks the power claws. Power claw does one hit. One wound. Good. All right. Uh, so I fight you back. Uh, these two guys will fight the war boss. Yep. I'm gonna avenge the fallen for two CP. Got one left. So that's an extra attack. So five each. Sure. Here we go. Two three rolling ones. All hits. Poor war boss. Toughness is five three. And that many inbounds. It's a good roll. How many is that? Three, six, nine inbounds. What's the damage on them? D3. Fudge. So he's just dead. No inbound? No. Nope. I didn't bomb him for him. Oh. The pain boy's dead. No inbound. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> And I'm not going to pile into those grunts because I'm going to do more damage shooting first. Uh, okay, and then these two guys. Four times each. Into which unit? Um, so how many are left in each unit now? Oh, uh, well this one's bigger and that one's yeah. smaller. There's one with like ten guys. Into the small unit then. Uh, well, wait a second. So th there's ten guys there, which I can't kill with only eight attacks. And there's how many in that one? 
I'm right, thinking so about morale, go the big right? one. You go the big one. Yeah, so go the big ones. Wheel them both down, right? Yeah. Okay, we roll one. And uh, killing on three. Oh, three dead. That might not have had the desired effect. Okay. So that's it. So morales. I'm good. You're good, and that's it. Okay. So uh, what's your score, Chris? I don't think it's worth anything, actually. I, I, I just, you know, this is how it proves one mistake. What did you toss? Psychological warfare. This is how, like, this goes to show that one mistake really, really, really hampers your game. So I would, is, I would have scored uh, two tap mouse but I would have had two more cards, but now you're going to catch up. Yeah. So it's end of bottom of four, and it's still 13-7, <laughs> which was the score after turn one. Yeah. Okay, Custodes, turn four, bottom. I uh, still have Secure Objective One, and Overwhelming Firepower, and Kingslayer. So um, I'm just holding this objective here. My Vexil is now down on that one. Move these Guardsmen forward, and the two Commanders. Um, guardsmen, uh, bikes have pulled out. Those, uh, well that guy didn't pull out, he wasn't in combat. Those two guys pulled out over there. And then there's two bikers in here that pulled out from over there. And the captain's over here. And uh, let's go on to some shooting. So orders, so these guys first rank, second rank fire. Um, oh no, they advance. So uh, these guys um, shoot even though they advance. And uh, actually, let's do move, 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 and move, move, move on both of those. Yeah, you rolled one, one, and two. <laughs> they auto hit, dude, just crazy. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm gonna do some shooting and then we'll be right back. Okay, so end of my shooting phase, I whittled both these units down, so I'm on one now. I killed a whole bunch of grots and, um, what else did I kill? I think that's about it. It's boys and grots, yeah. I forgot about these two weird boys here, which can smite me off, so I'm, I cleared some path for some guys to maybe try and get in. Uh, so, um, Captain's charging on the two weird boys and the Grots, and no, nothing in Overwatch, Chris? I mean, I've missed, yeah. Okay, so uh, I get three more charge because of Oric Aquilus. Here we go. So we measured a seven. Eight. Okay. Come All right, on. you can just move them into the... Uh, well... I, I want to be able to attack both You won't possible. be able to. Okay. Because you have to stay an inch from that unit. Sure. So you go there. Okay, so the Captain's in. Um, the... Uh, one guy left there is going to charge your Ludus. He won't die. Oh, <laughs> he might die. Okay, sixes. One six. So I get a second shot. I do. Two hits. Two wounds. Okay, he might die. He's full health. Three up. All right, good. All right, and a ten. Here, and these two guys will declare uh, Ludas and this back grot unit, and your your warlord, and the front grot unit. Go ahead. And the weird boys. Oh, Everybody with the focus. Front grots are engaged from you, dude. So. Nine. All right, so they rolled a nine, so they're in on that last weird boy, and um, some grots there. Okay, uh, so you have no CP for interrupt, so I'll just do my attack. So the captain's gonna. Attack, um, he's the got two guy. left on the wounded guy, yep. right? So two attacks on the wounded guy. We're all snake eyes, buddy. I know. And then the rest on the grots. Let's do it! Oh. Okay, two attacks on the weird boy. Oh, that's not snake eyes. And top of this, three, four. Four. Three, three rolling. One. T3 wounds, buddy. Top oh, three. Three. Pessimistic 40k almost fucked that up. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. okay, and then uh, this two man unit, so one on this weird boy, and one guy, uh, I guess, on the that remaining grot unit there. Okay, so what's this on? Three. So do the grots first? Uh, so I'll do the grots first. Captain's in range now. Uh, one, twos. Okay, so four. And then the remaining guy on your weird boy. We roll once. Oh. Oh. Three, three rolling. Three. Okay. Oh, five. 
Just enough. Freaking D3s, I hate D3s. Okay, and then uh, on your loot is there, that dude over there. Okay. Uh, this one attack. Uh, Miss one attack. Three, we're rolling. Good. Three dead loots. And uh, he'll stay on the objective, I guess, for now. Okay, so that's it. Uh, you want to fight me back? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine grots. So I'll do three to the shooter. I'll do four. I can do four into the two man unit. Yeah, I need okay. fives to hit. Nothing. One, two, three. And then it one, two, three, four, five into the captain. Two wounds. Two wounds. Oh, oh, oh. Takes a wound. Great. Actually, they hit our force because they have enough models too, but that's my bad. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that's the end of Custodes. Turn four. Uh, so I, I didn't do Kingslayer. Uh, did I? How many kills did I kill in the shooting? I'm not sure Nothing. I killed any in the shooting. Nothing. Nothing. No, I didn't kill any in the shooting, and I screwed like one now. So it's thirteen to eight, going into top of turn five. Should we uh, do the yeah? Uh, objective we need the objective. Again? So four plus it's the six. It's the six. Okay. So my four is my real one in the back. Okay, and then for me, um, so now it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So four, five, six is the middle. Four, five, six is the middle. Disappears. All right, middle disappears. Middle disappears. So we each have our back corner. There you go. Okay, top turn five coming up for Oryx. Scar the skies and overwhelming firepower. Yeah, so I moved all my boys in to take out these, take out these five two, wounds on uh, the bikers. Yeah. I left the Grots actually engaged there because they're going to be fearless with their the war boss from their detachment who's going to come around here and fight. You know, because I just got to do one wound to this yeah, unit the and one bike's gone. There. And you're not going to shoot me, I'm going to tie you down. I'm hoping these guns can finally kill this guy. Okay. If they can't, like, it is what it is. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to go hammer in the middle here. Okay. So, I'm going to start with my shooting phase, yep. the furthest away gun into that bike. Wound, make your in-ball. And okay, protect. Second one, does not wound. Third one wounds. No. Six wounds. Six wounds? So he's dead. Booger. Booger, is that a thing? Yep, that's a thing. All right, almost got away with that. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you mind if I just do them all together? If you want. Yeah, I'll do, t I'll do 20 Ludas into him, and then the two Sluggas. So two Sluggas. Oh, boys. Both hit. Nothing. Sixes, I get additional shots, so I have three sixes. I do one wound to him. It's a huge swing, like one less biker. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six saves. Please do one wound, kill the one bike. Woo! I did four wounds. Four wounds. Okay, one biker left with two. Well, they only have four each, right? Yeah. So there's one oh, biker left one, with one. One wound, yeah. Yeah. That's when all the ones come out at the end of the game. Okay. Base. I'm going to put this war boss into this unit that's engaged. Five. I'm going to go all the way around to there. Okay. Um, and all those boys. Yeah. So. I can overwatch you, I guess. I think the little unit is going to charge your guardsman, and the big unit is going to charge your bike. Okay, the little unit on the guardsman? Yeah. Okay. So two die. Overwatch from the guardsman kills two guys. And the charge. Nine. Nine. Plenty. <sighs> How many guys you got left? The boss just, and one guy? Just, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So. Um, and then the big unit, your bike. 
Okay. Just like, don't kill any, please. Just please, just like, don't kill any orcs, please. Okay. Not you listening? Try not to. You listening, Darren? Don't don't kill any orcs, please. We roll one. Why roll on oh, Captain? It's right there. I thought he was further away. One save. Woo! Okay, one dies. So those orcs. Oh yeah. They're gonna go on the objective and onto him. We don't like you anymore, Mr. Custodes. The Emperor does not protect. Okay. So you have enough CP to interrupt, right? No, I only have one CP left. Ooh. Which is useless now, because it's doubled. Okay. So. Actually, he's going to stay there, so that he can't hit them, but he's still within three of them, so they're fearless. Okay. First one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the knob. So the boy that charged, one hit, one wound. Then the knob. Five up. All hit. Dead. And he squishes one. One. So two guys dead. Um, then my boys that charge your last custody bike. I'll just do the knob first. Okay. Power claw misses. Whoa. Oh man, this isn't gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> he survived. The number of times bikers have survived on one wound for many turns is not insignificant. <laughs> two. One, two. Roll one, please. Please roll one. Okay, Emperor, don't fail me now. Two up save, two of them. Come on. Yes! Ah! The Emperor has spoken! Okay, my war boss. Maybe I should have saved this for this one. Woohoo! No, two misses. One wound. One wound. Right, so you won't kill. Oh, you might kill the guy. Okay. In bomb, right? No, it's just minus one. Oh, it's just minus one? I thought you had the power yeah, plan. No, no. Three up. Yes! Okay, garage in the bikes. One, two, three, four. Fours. One! You kill the bike, you grot. Oh, Boom. I have five in your camp. Emperor is smiling on me. One. <laughs> the grots are taking two off of this guy. They might come back to hunt me if this game really goes on. Okay, I'll fight you back. So two guys on your war boss. Oh, uh, you have to be the, oh no, you're right, you're right. I was trying to be stupid. All in the war boss, eh? Yep. How many wins you got, like five? I don't know, like a gazillion. We were one from captain. We were threes. Oh, three saves. But I don't get a save, right? Oh, you don't? Okay. Four up I have. Cause you're minus three, minus save, right? Yeah, minus three. Seven. Seven. Yeah, All right, uh, Captain on the grots. All hits. Killing on twos. Five big grots. And the surviving biker on your void. Four hits. Three to moon. Killing threes. Three dead boys. And the garden. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the sergeant is still alive. Yes, with the knife up. After attack. Uh, so, four. And Katagen's a strength four. One wound. Take on the knob. It's good. Okay. And so that's it. Nope, he's not good. Nope, he's no, not good. It's a t shirt save, right? It's a t shirt save. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I'm, no think, I'm thinking of my old days in the NFL. Uh, where you lost how many boys there? Yeah, I need a morale there. Yeah, you need a morale there on that. Yeah. Good. Okay, uh, so I think that's it. Grats, grats are your morale as well. So two plus five is seven. How many more do I lose? Oh, I forget their leadership. I always forget it. Four, so that should be two more dead. Okay, so that's the end of Chris' turn. You do score Scar of the Skies. So and it's overwhelming fire fire. 14 to 8. Uh, you score overwhelming fire fire? I shot a unit and killed it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's 15 to 8. That might be a big enough lead though, man. 
Other than kill points, though. Well, if that one turd, when I, if, if I would have killed that one dude, yeah. I feel like that would be, I'd, I'd be like one or two points ahead. Yeah, so it was 15. And that one dude disrupted my backfield a lot. Yep, yep. Killed a lot yep. of Ludus. So. Okay, 58 going in the bottom of five. Yep. Okay, so um, I pulled two cards Blood and Guts, kill something in the fight phase, and secure objective four, which uh, is the one right at the back. I pulled my Garthen out. Pulled these ones back. Commanders moved up, and this unit went over there to try and kill these two duders. And I get my blood and guts, hopefully. And then um, uh, these, all these bikers fled. Two bike unit here, captain, and bike unit there. And we'll let the guardsmen take care of those boys. They're standing in the middle of nowhere right now. Uh, so that's it. We'll go uh, orders. So these guys are going to be um, first rank, second. Well, no, because I need to kill them in the fight phase. So I'm not gonna shoot. These guys pulled back. Oh, they should have just. I know. I had to kill in the fight phase. So if I use the order to fight now, that doesn't count. That's no. not the fight phase. Okay, so I pulled them back. They'll uh, they'll just stay there. There's no there's no order to pull back and charge, right? I don't remember. 24 inch. These guys probably not. do. You though have range. Okay, so I will give these guys a fallback and shoot, and these guys first round sacred magic fire because I can shoot the boys in there. I forgot about that. Or grats. Okay, so we're gonna do some shooting and come back. So we should we should say before that that the grots have to maintain one inch going yeah. into the big guns. So we kind of just fudged it because I moved them forward. So yeah, so they're all like basically we're kind of saying it's like this because we didn't know. And then there's one guy on each gun on the objective, and the rest don't matter. I have them too spread out. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, next time. Uh, so I killed one gun from these two bikers. Uh, I killed all the grots, combination of shooting and morale, and this guy uh, did nothing to one of these cannons. Uh, I killed all these boys in here with last gun fire, and now I need to charge and kill these two guys. Looks like it's gonna be a tabling if it doesn't end. Okay, so this unit's gonna charge. Four, I'm gonna make it. Okay, so I would get three shots, one hit. I do nothing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. Here we go. Here you got two wounds. You gotta, you gotta not you gotta not do this. You gotta not do this. Woohoo! Fours again. Ouch, two wounds. Dead. Ah yes! Alright, those guys are dead. Oh, I'm gonna get tabled. Go catechins. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. Uh, so I did blood and guts, so that is uh, just one unit, so that's 15 to 11. I don't secure objective four. Uh, I don't, do I pull any cards next turn? No, it doesn't matter if the game doesn't go on. But should I drop it? So what, it's one card next turn? Turn six? Well, prep, prepare. So yeah. I, I would discard that if you killed it, you could score it. Well, I can, because next turn I'm just going to move and I'll be on. Well, then you could keep it for the guaranteed score. I, I feel like you're going to table me anyway if it doesn't end. Okay, I'll, th I'll toss it. You can keep it if you want to. I'd keep it. If you know you can score it, keep it. Well, I have to be able to kill these cannons. Cause you're no, because right. you're up second. I'm not. Hold on. Oh, cannon. Yeah, sorry, I thought grots. I'm sorry. No, okay, so, so you can take it. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Yeah, for sure you keep it. But I'm just saying that it's a moot point because you're going to table me. But in a... Um, okay, so see if it ends. You went f I went first. Here we go. Fuck, I need this. <laughs> I need this so bad. Ah! Oh, goes on, I'm gonna goes get on. tabled. Goes on. Okay. okay turn six. Uh, she can pull a card. Oh, yeah. Secure objective six. <laughs> right here. I'm not. It doesn't matter. Okay, what do I want to do? Do the grots have guns? I don't know. This is a janky unit, man. They kind of fixed it a little bit, but it's still janky. How the crew interacts with the artillery. Well, they have saved an in inch of it. Um, I think I could have played it. I think if I would have played it a bit more properly, there'd be less uh, less jankiness. 